Families of hostages gathered outside the prime minister's office to call for Israel and Hamas to accept a ceasefire proposal pushed by President Biden. NBC's Raf Sanchez has more. Overnight, the families of Israeli hostages protesting in Jerusalem, demanding Israel and Hamas agree to the sweeping ceasefire proposal laid out by President Biden on Friday. It's a roadmap to an enduring ceasefire and the release of all hostages. The three-phase plan calls for the freeing of all hostages, living and dead. In exchange for an end to the war, a ceasefire and Israel's withdrawal from Gaza. Hamas says it views the plan positively, but has not yet given a formal response. And while the U.S. says it's an Israeli proposal, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has not endorsed it publicly, saying ending the war before Hamas is destroyed is a non-starter. While his far-right ally is threatening to topple his government if he agrees to the deal. The Israeli leader also accepting a bipartisan invitation to speak to a joint session of Congress for the first time in nearly a decade. But some Democrats threatening to boycott. Bring them home. Over the weekend at the annual parade celebrating Israel in New York, marchers calling for the release of the hostages. Shalom. Among those still captive, Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Polin. We met his parents in Jerusalem as they await news of a deal. I certainly pray and hope, and I am optimistic, but I am nervous, I am frightened, and I also just know you cannot count your hostages until they're home and you're hugging them. What is your message to the leaders of Israel, to the leaders of Hamas? I would beg the leaders to act like leaders and part of being a leader is you put your people ahead of your own personal self-interest. And I would beseech all the leaders to do that.